So this week I decided to paint this breathtaking and hilarious scene from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So let's paint! Ever since I started painting, I always listen to music while I paint and these are two things that I enjoy so much and when I do them together, it's like a really cool combo and I love it and I usually listen to something that I like uh, my favorite artists, the playlists that I have or some particular albums but this time I decided to try something different so I put some Harry Potter soundtrack. I can say that it was a really magical experience. And speaking about the painting, as always, I go with layers. And first I cover the large areas, the large vast space uh, with color and with little shadows and lights. And this picture has a really huge amount of greenery. And in this case, there is a risk of making it all super boring and same green color. But I think this time I succeeded in adding some variety of shades. I'm actually so happy with the grass in this painting. Surprisingly, it was so fun this time to paint the bushes, the trees around the bridge. I don't know, usually it doesn't give me so much pleasure, but this time it was, it was really nice. And there is an interesting feature about this painting is that there is no sky, almost no sky and I even forgot to paint it and I remembered afterwards that I still have my sky, this tiny little piece of sky there, blank, like it was white. I actually think that painting the sky is one of my strongest points, uh, but this painting turned out to be nice even having almost no sky at all. But the real challenges in this painting for me were the train and the steam going out of it. Oh, and also the car. I just have to admit that my weakness is drawing and painting objects like cars, trains, guitars, something uh, which has a construction, which has to be so straight, so perfect and so um, symmetrical and quite um, precise. I struggle with that a lot. And apparently, we have both in this picture, the train and the car. And I think the train is the main object in this painting because it's like, it's the center of the attention, it's the source of energy, of action. And so it was really important to not spoil it.
One of the most satisfying and nice and pleasurable things to do in this painting was painting the steam. Although I thought that would be a challenge because I don't really paint steam that often and I was afraid that it would be difficult. But actually it turned out to be so similar to painting the clouds. I think clouds have pretty similar structure as the steam and so i just had to go with the flow the same as painting the clouds in the sky i was just blending the white paint and it blended so well and sometimes i added a little bit of green because i had to show the transparency of the steam sometimes in some parts And the most unpleasant part about this painting was the car because even drawing it was difficult and I think I got it wrong. It's, it doesn't look like the actual car from, from the movie, but whatever, it's not the point. I think we all can recognize this car because it's the only car that we saw in this movie uh, which was flying, so... And at least I think I got the color right, so that's already something. And as I said, I just don't really like painting and drawing cars. And I painted Harry swinging <laughs> in the air um, so quickly, so it was the, the fastest part of all this painting. Because there's basically not a lot to paint. And it was so easy and he doesn't even have a head. The Harry Potter series is an incredibly big source of inspiration for painting and there are a lot of movies and a lot of characters and things that I would love to capture and to paint. So hopefully it's not gonna be the last painting. I mean, I'm sure that this is not gonna be the last painting. Harry Potter painting, I mean. So stay tuned and let's see the result.